Hi everyone, my name is Patrick and I will be walking you through the Manager's Dashboard in HR Hub, version 2. Um, we're really excited about this new version uh, and this is the start of some really interesting new developments with HR Hub and I can't wait to share more with you. Um, for now I'm just going to show you the really early um, first revision of, of version 2. So let's get started. Uh, up here on the left, uh, you can see a calendar that will show you company-wide announcements um, pertinent to today. So very prominently is today's date. You can see hiring anniversaries, birthdays, um, new hires, uh, first days, last days, things like that um, about people in your company. And if you view the whole month, uh, you can dig in a little bit uh, and view the old calendar that, that was in the original version. Now, um, to the right, you can see the attendance of your team today. So these are people who report to you as a manager. Uh, and you can see uh, people who are late, people who are early, and people who are absent or on a rest day, things like that. Now over here we have investments, uh, which is uh, coming soon. <laughs> and. Uh, Really excited about that, but uh, let's just save that for later. So down below, now we're looking at the Resolution Center. Now this is a, a brand new feature uh, that we've released with version 2, uh, and it really tackles the attendance issues as they pertain to payroll. So, um, you know, it previously with HR Hub, uh, it was very hard for managers to oversee employees' attendance discrepancies. So employees can see their, their uh, biometric logs and potential discrepancies, but, but not managers. So now this resolution center takes out all the guesswork and gives you an idea of all the scheduling conflicts that might come up um, due to uh, logs and, and attendance. So we can see here I have one employee with a scheduling conflict and that means that most likely her bio logs just don't match her, her shift uh, closely enough. So she wasn't like 10 minutes late, she was you know 5 hours late and 5 hours late logging out or something. And I can click here to, to open this up. And I can even click to get a summary of the employee, uh, I can see the date of the conflict. And then I can see the summary here. Your, your shift schedule does not match your bio log in out for this day. So her logs for this day are in at 9 a.m. and out at 10 a.m. Now I can choose to resolve this conflict myself on her behalf, uh, send her a message, or just ignore this uh, issue. Now if you choose to resolve, then this will give you, this area here will give you um, several different options and depending on the conflict it'll give you different ways to resolve it. So in this case I can file a certificate of attendance or a schedule adjustment on behalf of my employee. If I choose certificate of attendant, attendance it'll automatically tee up here um, the employee's default shift uh, and, and I may just want to go with that or I can change the times if I want and, and go from there. And then I can fill these out and then click Resolve if I choose. So if I want to see more than just today's uh, conf or the conflicts that are waiting for me, I can see the whole history of conflicts here in the Resolution Center. So as a manager, I can see uh, all, em all employees who report to me uh, or just a single employee who reports to me, and that's it. If you're an administrator, you would have a similar page to this, but you would have a lot more options on the left here. Uh, you could filter by a company, by department, uh, and so on and so forth. So you can also sort here on the left by the, uh, by the conflict type. So if I want to remove missing logs and look at other scheduling conflicts, I can do that. Um, you can see here in our system most are uh, uh, missing logs. So, back on the dashboard, we can see pending approvals. 
uh, below the below the scheduling conflicts. Um, and these are uh, applications that employees of mine have filed um, that are waiting for my approval. And right here on the dashboard, I can choose to approve, deny, or resend for editing the, the things that you're probably familiar with um, regarding approvals. So that's fairly self-explanatory. And if I dig in, um, I can click one and, and get a summary, just like the box above, I can get a summary of, of what this uh, request is all about. Now below that, we have a new feature. Um, we can see my team stats this month. So as a manager, uh, oftentimes I'm interested in, in what my team's, just a summary of my team this month. Um, and here gives me an idea of that. So. You might be wondering what's the difference between OT works and OT applied. Uh, you know, as a manager, you're very interested in seeing uh, how much overtime your employees have worked that they've applied for, but also how much overtime that they've worked just total, um, regardless of whether they applied and were paid for it or not. So that's what this is showing, the, these two bars here. Um, next, you can see how many under under how many undertime hours your, your team rendered, and how many lates, how many late hours they have. Uh, to the right, you can see official business trips that have been applied for and approved, schedule adjustments, vacation, sick, and other leave types. Now, up here, we've consolidated the old dashboard into one area, and this is my stuff. Now, if I want to apply for something, I can just click apply and all the familiar applications uh, will be here. And if I click one of these, it'll just take me to the old screen. This is the old overtime application form that you will probably all be familiar with. Now, I can also see right below that my pending requests and I can choose to edit one of those or cancel them as I need. And I, so I can also expand to see all of my pending requests here. So I will just minimize that. Below that, you can get an idea of your leave credits um, and then some stats uh, for you this month. For example, how many overtime minutes you've rendered, undertime, official business trips, and, and late minutes. Now, by default, your payroll information is hidden on your dashboard for security reasons, but uh, you can choose to expand it there and it'll just give you an idea of with your last payroll on your YTD to date. Um, and you can see in my dashboard these are zero because it's not hooked up with my payroll pie account. Uh, if you click view more, it'll take you to the old payroll pie, uh, the old payroll summary page that, that, you would, that you would recognize. So another major thing we've done with this release is made the top navigation much simpler and, and more straightforward. So in top nav, by default, you'll have my requests and approvals. So um, if you want to go directly to those pages, you can see, see them here. Um, next, you can see some things about my team. So many will recognize the old uh, managed team area here. That's just under my team now. And you can also go to the resolution center for your team. Uh, and next will be company-wide things. Um, and for administrators, this company tab will have much more options in it. Um, for managers, you can view your department, a calendar for your team, and the employee directory. So this, the employee directory will open up um, the advanced search. Calendar will open up the old calendar. And my department will show you um, your old team page with, um, yeah, here, with all of your team members, calendar for your team, and shared files. Besides that, we've consolidated some things in the uh, employee menu here. Let's just go that, back to the dashboard. So I, you'll remember you can see my profile, um, my attendance, my bio logs, and we've added my tasks. Um, this take, does take you to the old tasks page. 
But we've also added a tutorial, um, help, which takes you to the, the help manual for HR Hub, and the change password option that you all remember from before. And that is a very quick overview of HR Hub um, version 2. So look forward for, no, for more announcements. We will be releasing videos for every update. So we'll keep you guys uh, well informed of our new improvements. Thank you for listening.